Hi, my name is Thomas Hensler, and today we're in a live training environment for the Jump 20 aircraft. The Jump 20 is the very first VTOL-enabled, capable AV operating in the Group 3 UAS space. The VTOL integration of the Jump 20 was designed to specifically address some pain points for the military. The ability to take off and land vertically, independent of a runway, allows you to operate in urban environments, obscure locations, and even locations with many unmovable obstacles. The endurance of this aircraft is approximately 14 hours. A little bit of wiggle room there depending on what the payload configuration is and how much fuel you're carrying. Along with the VTOL capabilities, some distinct advantages of the Jump 20 are its very discreet, low noise signature. Proprietary propellers, both for the VTOL motors and the main tractor engine designed in-house. And we also have an integrated live seam technology, which means that we don't have any joints on the wings. It can flex without the need of a traditional joint. This creates a very low noise signature, which makes the plane inaudible at 4,500 feet above ground level. All the major structural components of the Jump 20 are manufactured in-house. The fuselage and mainframe of the aircraft are constructed of carbon fiber. The wingspan is just under 19 feet, with a max takeoff weight of 215 pounds. The Jump 20 is a completely modular design, which makes it very easy to assemble and disassemble for transport, which allows extreme flexibility in its payload options. That allows us to meet the requirements of any customer or mission. Today, we're flying a TACE camera. You can also fly multiple cameras outside the TACE as well, offering exceptional daytime and nighttime imagery. Additionally, we can fly nine other cameras that can be configured for this aircraft. Outside of imaging sensors, we commonly carry communications relay packages, laser designation, anti-jamming, signal intelligence, comms intelligence, and even more. The standard operational requirements allow for an extremely small footprint, consisting of three primary components. The first being the aircraft, the second being the air vehicle operator's workstation, and the third being a ground control antenna. The ground control antenna allows for communication with the aircraft and for a video feed to be sent back to the ground station for analysis. Standard distance for our operational setup is 100 nautical miles through the ground control antenna. We do offer a BLOS option, which is beyond line of sight, which relies on satellite communication for operation of the aircraft. The Jump 20 is multi-mission capable, being able to operate in land, sea, and mobile environments, all the while providing persistent ISR data for analysis. The tracking ground control antenna featured behind me is our primary link between the aircraft and the ground station computer. The range for this antenna is 100 nautical miles, which is extremely far for the size of the antenna. The small footprint allows the antenna to be mounted in a variety of locations, whether it's on top of a vehicle, a building, or a tower. Along with our extremely flexible payload options, the Jump 20 also offers manned, unmanned teaming, Link 16, and OS RVT video downlink applications. 